guys, today I want to talk to you about dogs that are aggressive chewers. So we have a dog, her name is Honey. She's a mix of a Rhodesia Ridgeback and a Husky. And I don't know if this is a breed specific thing, but she happens to be an extremely aggressive chewer. You give her something, she will destroy it in minutes. So we've gone through all the different Kong balls at all the different levels and she gets through them. So this is a regular Kong ball. This is the black one, which is the made for the extreme chewers. The whole bottom part here is missing. The top part where there's a smaller opening, that's still whole and intact. But down here, it's a big old mess. What I have here is I bought the Kong ball, and this might be a little bit better for her to grip onto because the opening on this is just like the small opening on the Kong ball snack treat. It has a smaller opening, which makes it harder for her to kind of get her teeth in there and tear it apart. Let's open this up. There's still an opening in here, so you can fit a treat in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this with a treat mixture that I made and freeze it. So here in just a little plastic baggie, I have a mixture of just some oatmeal that I cooked in some chicken broth, so I know my dog's gonna like it. And I'm basically gonna fill this how I would any kind of a pastry or icing. I'm gonna make a little snip in the end of the bag here. Ooh, I'm losing my con ball. And I need to make sure that the hole that I snipped off of here is big enough for the mixture to be able to squeeze out. And I'm gonna insert it in here and just kind of fill it up. All right, so it's pretty full and I'm just gonna, with my finger, kind of smush it in there, make sure it's gonna really stick. My dog's watching from the doorway, really wanting this bag. Sorry, honey, you can't have it yet. Gotta wait a little bit. So the next step to do is I've taken just some regular plastic wrap and I'm gonna wrap my ball up. So now that it's all covered, I'm going to pop this in the freezer and let this turn solid. And once it's frozen, I can give it to Honey and hopefully this will keep her occupied long enough, satisfy her need to her getting a treat, while at the same time not being something that she can break through so quickly. A quick word of advice, if you do this, it can get messy, uh, especially when this starts to defrost. So I'm going to give it to her to have either in her crate or outside. So I will go freeze this and then we will check back in when we're ready to give it to puppies. I have left this to freeze overnight, and let's give it a try. Um, I can already tell the ball itself feels denser. It's more solid, so that's a good sign. It is solid. So let's go outside and give this a test with Honey. She's been waiting really patiently for it. All right, that's her trying to get to the oatmeal inside and she's just having to lick it. She can't dig her teeth into that because the opening is too small. And hopefully she can't rip this ball apart and it'll last her longer. Right, honey? Okay, guys, that's about it. I'm gonna go pop this slobbery ball back in the freezer. I had to actually bribe Honey with a piece of hamburger meat to get it back from her because she really, really enjoyed this. So this is a great Kong ball dog treat hack. One last word of advice, anytime you're giving your dog anything that's a long lasting treat, something that they're gonna be sitting with for a, uh, a while, keep an eye on them because if they can break off pieces, there's a chance that they can choke on it or if they swallow it, sometimes it can get stuck in their insides and that's no fun. So just keep an eye on your dog. Um, never leave them unattended for long periods of time with uh, any kind of treat that they can break off the pieces. As of right now, she can't break anything off of this. It is really sturdy. She can't grip her teeth onto this, so she's just gonna have to lick away. So if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, suggestions, share the knowledge. I would love to try out any dog treat hacks that you have. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.